Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Review. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Nugget Nectar from Trove's Brewery. This is an Imperial Amber. Uh, they're out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, the beer comes in at 7.50 ABV, so we're creeping up there, so this is a little stronger. Be careful with this. Uh, uh, the beer advocate sheet says it's a springtime serving, but the rate beer... Uh, site says it's a winter serving and I just picked this up uh, from my beer store about two weeks ago so I tend to think uh, that they've changed it from the spring to the to the winter type serving so um, the food pairing for this the cheeses will be the sharp, the blue, the cheddar, your more punched cheeses and the meat is the beef, poultry and fish. The glass is going to be the pint glass you can use the back of the style, the mug uh, uh, Beer's not recommended for extent of salaring, even though it's 7%. It's going to lose its hoppiness. Uh, our club actually did a test, uh, taste test of this beer. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's been uh, last year sometime or, or beginning of the year when it was available in the spring or something. And uh, we had a 09 and a uh, 2010 bottle, and they'd been cellared, and there was a big difference between the two bottles. So let's get it in the glass, see what we got. <clears throat> Wish it put the dates on these bottles. The beer pour is a, I don't know, it's got a slight chill haze on it. It's right out of the fridge. It's about 40 degrees. About a half a finger of head. Uh, small and big bubbles. Uh, it's a, uh, it's not got a, a, a lot of bubbles screaming up from the top. Uh, but there are a few in there. Right small bubbles too. Uh, none, there aren't any bubbles sticking to the inside of the glass or anything. So. Get a nose on it. I get a citrusy. To me, it's more piney. I get a piney hop uh, presence to that. It's very floral, though. I can smell a little bit of sweet malt on there too. So, let's give it a taste. A lot of floral hops in that, a whole lot. It's like drinking flowers. It takes a little bit of the alcohol, it's seven and a half. Not too bad though, if you're a hop head, you'll probably like that. Or any of the Imperial Ambers, it's what this is, Imperial Amber. Very, very nice. Easy drinking for a 7.5% beer. For me, anyway. Very, very pleasant. So, this is looking pretty good for this one. So, stick around. We'll be right back and we'll do the final chug in the grade and see what we end up with. Alright, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I've got a little bit left in the glass. I've been sipping on this about 30 minutes or so. It's a very nice beer. It is an above average beer. Uh, I'll be honest, I've had this beer before, like I said, uh, the club did a taste test, but uh, I, I'm a hop head and I've, uh, I've enjoyed this beer uh, probably for the last year or two anyway. Uh, do the final chug here. Very, very, very nice beer. Very, very nice. Uh, they use Nugget, Warrior, and Tomahawk hops on this beer. Ray Beer gives it a 99 overall and 100 in the style and Beer Advocate gives it an A. I give it an A too. 
It's a very, very nice beer. It's a nine on a scale tonight. If you see this beer and you like hops or the hoppy type beers, this is actually a fairly sweet beer. It's similar, I don't want to say like to Bell's Too Hard a Day Old, but uh, it's a sweeter, it's a sweeter IPA or, or, or an ale than the than some of the IPAs. Some of them are a little more bitter. Uh, I don't find this is quite as bitter. It's a pretty well crafted beer. It's a, it's a nice blend of the malt and the hops. So uh, if you see it, pick it up, give it a try. And if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. And as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and pick us up if you see it. See you next time.